Hey guys, it's been so long since I've done a video and so much has changed since then. I've gone through surgery, I've finished grad school so I have my master's degree now and I've also recently become a homeowner which is not an easy thing to do in this part of California so I've been really penny pinching every penny and this is the first time I have splurged since I started searching for a home. So. I guess you can tell from the title, I went to Lush. I've been keeping an eye out for the holiday products for so long now, well it feels like a long time, but uh, really since the beginning of October because YouTubers from the UK have been posting videos of the new holiday collection and it was not available here until today actually, that's what the salesperson told me, that they had some of the things out since last week but all the bath bombs and everything came in today. I just want to share the excitement with you guys. It's been so long since I've done a video so it feels kind of awkward but if anything could pull me out of a video slump I guess it would be Lush because that's kind of like my first real YouTube love. Alright, anyway, so here's the bag. It's pretty large and I'm not going to go in any particular order. First thing is this Peeping Santa bubble bar. So it's the lighting is pretty awful right now, but um, it's red, like a reddish orange, and he has chocolate chip eyes, and it smells exactly like the that magic mushroom one that they had a couple years ago for Valentine's Day. And if you don't know what that smells like, it smells exactly like the Strawberry Fields. Um, massage bar so it's a really nice strawberry scent and um, I think the white part inside has that same strawberry scent too so it's very fruity and I love it let's see what we've got here oh I don't think I was paying attention when I got this because I actually got two but I didn't need a butter bear bath bomb and it's kind of hard to see but basically it's just white it's like the Butterball, and a few Christmases ago they had the Mr. Butterball, which is the same scent except it's in the form of a teddy bear. I like it so much more as a teddy bear anyway because I love teddy it bears. Is the ever so popular Cinders. I don't really need to explain this one, but it's like a cinnamon warm scent and it's got pop rocks on top, so when you put it in the bathtub, you hear it crackle and pop, and it's supposed to sound like wood burning in a fireplace, which I have a fireplace in my new home too, which I've never had before, so I haven't had a bathtub in years, and now that I am no longer renting a place, I have a home where there's a bathtub, I'm going to go crazy with my Lush baths and Lush videos all over again, and so yes, fireplace, bathtub, perfect for the holidays, I am so stoked. Cinders. Next I've got the Candy Mountain Bubble Bar and it's a light shimmery pink and white swirly bubble bar. It's kind of hard to tell but there it is. And this is the exact scent as the Creamy Candy Bubble Bar. So they don't have that candy cane bubble bar anymore which was like a long potato shaped bubble bar. So it's a Candy Mountain and it smells like cotton candy and cherry and something fruity, but it's the creamy candy bubble bar. It's exactly the same scent. And then I have... <gasps> it broke already. I think it's the Magic of Christmas bubble bar, but it's broken. And... Oh my goodness, I have like a bunch of glitter everywhere now. But it's um kind of like that sunny side bubble bar, except it's not gold glitter, it's silver. Look, this one's not really made to last long, I suppose, because I've watched other people's videos where their holly completely fell off, and mine, like, a part of it fell off, and it's got little berries that came off as well. And that came off even before I left the store. Like, all of the bubble bars there, they were, like, crumbling apart. But this is what it looks like, and this one smells like... Christmas trees. <laughs> I think I have glitter in my brain now. 
This one is the Stardust Bath Balm, and it's white. It's got little white fine glitters in it. And this one smells kind of like the Butter Ball, too, but it's not. So it smells kind of like vanilla and sweet. It's a very light scent, and I think this one would be great for anybody who doesn't want something overpowering, because I know Lush kind of gives some people headaches because it's really strong. Not me though, I love it. But this one's really light. Getting to the end. This one I believe is the Shoot for the Stars bath bomb. It's so pretty. You've got like, it's blue and there's a shooting star and there's some sh metallic shimmers in it. And it's honey scented. This one smells more like honey I wash the kids than the honey bee bath bomb. And looking at this, you would not expect it to smell like Honey and Wash the Kids. You just wouldn't. But you have to smell it for yourself. It's pure honey and caramel goodness. Hmm. This next one is so cute. It's the Magic Wand Bubble Bar. It's pink and glittery and it's on a wand with a little bell. Hmm. This one also has the same scent as the creamy candy bubble bar, which I don't mind because I love the scent. It's one of my favorite ones, so it's okay that I have two things that smell like it. Hmm. Oh, you know there's actually one product that I didn't see at Lush and I didn't get it. It's the, the five gold rings. I've seen other people on YouTube with it, but I didn't notice it at my Lush. Maybe I just didn't see it, but that kind of sucks. I would have gotten it, but next time. So I really like this bell, and I guess the way it works, you can just take it off of its little s stick and crumble it into the water, or you can kind of stir it around, is what other people were saying, like under the running water, just stir it around. But I think I'll just break it into pieces, so I don't have to like let it sit out and dry and get all shriveled and funky. So that's the magic wand. This one is called Santa's Belly Shower Jelly. It's one of their new shower jellies, and it's apple scented, like red apple. It's very sweet. And it's red and you can see, gosh, it really looks like edible jello. But you can see little um, star confetti in there. And it's supposedly able to dissolve so it's not going to sit in your tub or like get stuck in the drain or anything like that. But that's pretty interesting. So, yeah, it's really nice. I like the little star details in there but the scent is just great because a lot of their shower jellies don't smell so great in my opinion this is my kind of like one. the magic wand it's a star on a stick with glitter and it smells like pumpkin spice I think that's what it's called but um, what's also really nice about it is that it has a strong scent of coffee and I love coffee whether it's I'm drinking it or just smelling it so um, I don't know why it smells like coffee. Oh, it's the stick. I thought it was a cinnamon stick. But it really smells like coffee. And then in the center here, you've got like, what is this, cloves? It's spicy. So this one smells really good too. This is actually one of my favorite ones and I'm going to have to go back for more. Same idea, crumble it under the running water or stir it around and it's also got a little cute bell. Yeah, it's got to be for Christmas. It's got a bell and a red bow. So, really excited to use This that. last one is a sample of the Yod Nog Soap. This one's also part of the holiday collection. And it smells really sweet and it's like a bright yellow. It's the creamiest of all their soaps that I've ever tried. And that's really nice because I have eczema so my skin's really dry and scaly and itchy. and So I think this will be really hydrating and just nourishing for the skin so I'm excited to try this one and if I like it I'm gonna go back and get a big slice. Those are all the holiday items I got this haul and I am pretty sure I'm gonna go back for more because I love this stuff and I've been so deprived of lush bath goodies so thank you for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!